today we are doing our intro to circles. So we're going to first start by just talking about the basic vocab, the pieces that we're going to use to build our circles. So a circle is a set of all of the points that are equidistant from a given point. So if we have a point and we find all of the points that are a certain distance away from that point, they're all equidistant from that same point. That set of all of those points, this is a really janky picture, but you're getting the gist, that is a circle. And that point is called the center. And we name circles according to their center point. So this circle has a center at C, that point that's marked with the dot is there to communicate that that's the center. So this would be circle C. So the radius is the distance from the center of your circle to the edge of the circle. So it's that length from the center to the edge of the circle. So from C to D, C, D, segment C, D is a radius. Segment CE is a radius in this circle, and so is segment CF. A chord is a segment whose endpoints lie on the edge of the circle. So segment AB is an example of a chord. So a chord is a segment, has a definite start and a definite stop. So AB is a chord, as well as segment DE. DE is a chord because its two endpoints are on the circle. So chord DE, or segment DE is also a chord. But segment DE passes through the center C. So segment DE is a specific type of chord it is called a diameter. So a diameter is a chord. So if you're listing out all the chords of the circle and the diameter is drawn, your diameter will also be in the list of chords. So the diameter is just a specific type of chord. It's the chord that passes through the center. 